Hello everybody, I'm going to get started here on repurposing this base cabinet that I bought from the ReStore in Winona. Uh, I bought this instead of building my own for my workshop here because it was already built, it was generally uh, stable, um, and it came with drawers and metal pieces here. So um, it's perfect for my needs of storing some stuff in here while also using it as a top up here. Um, it is made out of MDF with a veneer, so you will just be careful if you ever do something like this in the future that you are getting MDF. This little particle piece is, is called MDF here, and it's actually pretty thin too. So you're not getting hardwood. <laughs> if you're getting hardwood, uh, you know, for, for the price that I paid for this, um, bless you, because um, that's expensive stuff high quality stuff there. So this is perfect for my needs. I'm not making a kitchen out of this. Uh, it's just gonna help with my workshop. I just got brad nails in here because um, there was another veneer over this. Um, you can see here I ripped it off this piece of wood. I, I scraped them off a little bit um, that were glued on here. That's why you can see these, the, the MDF from the veneer. Uh, so we'll just pull a couple of them here. They're not always easy to come off, but uh, there you go. That's a brad nail there. It's about an inch brad nail. Um, this one here might not be as easy. Yep, got it. Perfect. Okay. Stand corrected. And let's get this. See if we can get this other one. They just get harder and harder. Uh, you can't. They don't have nail heads that are really uh, uh, good. I mean, these when you get brad nails, they're meant for kind of temporary or light duty work. Uh, they're, they're perfect for doing some carpentry and assembly, but this is not something you want to hold, you know, heavy objects with. Is I would use a reciprocating saw. So I've got this one here from DeWalt. Uh, it's a one-handed one. Milwaukee has one. Cobalt, many of the tool brands have their own version of these. I'm just a DeWalt guy. I've got all the DeWalt batteries and stuff uh, as my mainstay here. So um, I would I would probably, or a handsaw would work. If you guys got a handsaw or a Japanese pole saw. That would work as well. So let's just keep taking a look here. We got some debris in here. Not too bad, but cobwebby kind of stuff that will take out the shop vac. Uh, generally speaking, I mean, this is well built for my needs. I'm going to paint it. I'm not going to leave it the wood color. I'm just going to paint it some bright colors to warm up the place a little bit. There's no brad nails here. I want to make sure I didn't miss any brad nails uh, there as well. Let's take a look at the back. It's got these tabs here i don't know i will reinforce this i think i'm just going to test it because i mean some of the mdf is chipped um so i might reinforce this not sure if i'll just take a quarter inch of plywood and just reinforce these pieces because if we look back here can we see from the other side okay yeah those have to stay there those are part of the drawers so this has to stay here so um i either have to cover this whole thing um because of these little tabs that that stick out here or i just put strips and that's probably what I'm gonna do because I just want to reinforce this where I can um, you know the idea here is not to blow a major budget on this otherwise I could have just gone to Menards or someplace and and ponied up um, a bit more cash uh, to get something but this is gonna work perfect for me I actually bought two of the other ones down there as well um, can do the same thing with those I am gonna put them on some casters if I have the casters with me, yeah. So I bought these at Menards. Okay. They're Sontax. Um, 90 pound load capacity for each, so that's 360. Um, and I don't I don't plan to put a lot of weight on this, but the material itself is probably, you know, 20 pounds or so. So, um, and they got little brakes on them as well. So that's what I'm doing. They're going to be rolling, like, uh, tool cabinets. I've got my scraper here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and keep scraping where I can and work in this. I did try to sand it and it's just not coming. So I'm just going to keep playing with this here and see if I can get all this wood off. So that'll take a little bit of elbow grease. It'll probably take me about 10 to 15 minutes to do um, that. Um, but not too bad. Not too bad. 